Hello everyone. In this lecture, I am going to discuss the following topics. First one is software process. Second one is the process framework. Third one is umbrella activities. Fourth one is process adaptation. And the last one that is the generic process model. Let us start the first topic that is software process before moving to the software process all of you must know what is process the term process means a particular method of doing something it generally involved a number of steps or operations in software engineering the term software process refers to the methods of developing software a software process is a set of related activities that leads to the production of a software product. These activities may involve the development of software from the scratch in a standard programming languages like a C programming language or Java. Software is developed as we have already discussed in the previous lecture the characteristics of software that is a Software is developed or engineered effectively and efficiently with the help of processes or activities. In general, a process is defined as a series of steps involving activities and resources which produces the desired or the expected output. Software process is a collection of activities, actions and tasks that are performed when some work product is to be created. An activity is used to achieve a broad objective or goal. For example, communication with stakeholders and its application regardless of application domain, complexity, degree, then size of project, etc. An action is a set of tasks that produce a major work product, for example, architecture or design, etc. A task is a small and focuses on a well-defined objective or goal. For example, conducting a unit test. So, we can say process is a collection of different components like an actions, activities and task. Now, let us move to the definition of software process. So the software process is defined as the related set of activities and processes that are involved in developing and evolving a software system. Then the second one is software development process. It is a process of dividing software development work into distinct phases to improve design, product management and project management. Or we can say the software development process is a collection of procedures to develop the software product according to certain goals or standards. Generally, few points have noted about the software process. So, first one is it includes guidelines with explain the, which explain the objectives of each activity. Then, the second one is it includes various technical and managerial issues that are required to develop the software. Then third one is it uses resources subject to given constraints and produces intermediate and final products. Then it is also important it should carried out with an entry and exit criteria that help in monitoring the beginning and completion of the activity. Then fifth one is it is regarded as more than just a procedure tools and techniques which are collectively used in a structured manner to produce a product. Some of the characteristics of software process are understandability then visibility supportability, reliability, rapidity, then acceptability, robustness and maintainability. Now the next topic is the software process framework. A software 
process framework establishes the foundation for a complete software process by identifying a small number of framework activities or tasks that are applicable to all software projects. As you can see in this figure, the software process framework determines the processes which are essential for completing a complex software project. This framework identifies certain activities known as framework activities which are applicable to all software projects regardless of their type and complexity. The software process framework encompasses a set of umbrella activities that are applicable across the entire software process. You can see in the figure each process activity is populated by a set of software engineering actions, a collection of related tasks that produces a major software engineering work product. Then <coughs> each action in the process framework is populated with individual work tasks that accomplish some part of work implied by the action. Total 5 generic framework activities can be used during the development of small programs, the creation of large web applications and for the engineering of large complex computer based system. So first one is communication phase, second one is planning, third one is modeling, fourth one is construction and the last one that is the deployment. So the communication phase that is the communication framework activity involves heavy communication and collaboration with the customer encompasses requirements gathering and other related activities. Then in the second phase planning activity establishes a plan for the software engineering work that follows. Planning describes the technical tasks to be conducted the resources that will be required, the risks that are likely the work products to be produced. Then third one is the modeling phase. In that phase the modeling activity encompasses the creation of models or we can say the design and the architecture that allow the developer and the customer to better understand software requirement specifications and the design that will achieve those requirements. Then the fourth phase that is the construction. The construction activity combines code generation and the testing that is required to uncover errors in the code. Then the last phase under that particular generic framework activities is development. The software is developed or so delivered to the customer who evolves the delivered product and provides feedback based on the evaluation. In short, the soft delivery of the working system for evaluation and feedback is called the deployment that we'll discuss in detail in the next slide. Now let us move to the next topic that is umbrella and activities. We can say software project software tracking and engineering control, process framework risk management software are complemented by a number of technical reviews, activities. Major general umbrella activities are applied to user software project and help work software preparation, manage and control all progress these are quality very essential umbrella and activities the risk that are applied software throughout a software team project can manage which helps all these things to with manage help of and control activities. progress quality various umbrella risk activities and change of process framework are given let's have a look at the process adaptation so the software engineering process is not a rigid prescription that must be followed dogmatically by a software team. Rather, it should be agile and adaptable to the problems, to the project, to the team 
and to the organizational culture. Therefore, a process adaptation for one project might be significantly different from the process adapted for another project. Among the differences are first one is overall flow of activities, actions and tasks and the independencies among them. Then second one is degree to which actions and tasks are defined within each framework activity. Third one is the degree to which work products are identified and required. Then the fourth one is manner in which quality assurance activities are applied. Then fifth one is the manner in which project tracking and control activities are applied. Then the next one that is the overall degree of detail and rigor with which process is described. Then also the next one that is the degree to which customer and another stakeholders are involved with the project. Then it's also very important the level of autonomy given to the software team. And the last one difference that is very important the degree to which team organization and roles are prescribed means degree to which team organization and roles are prescribed. Now the next topic is generic process model. As all of you know a software process is a set of activities and associated results which produce a software product. A software process model is an abstract representation of a software process as shown in this figure it is a basic generic software process model. A software process model is defined as a strategy or a software engineering paradigm comprising process methods and tools layers as well as the general phases for developing the software. As IEEE def defines a process model as a framework containing the process activities and tasks involved in the development, operation and maintenance of a software product spanning the life of system from the definition of its requirements to the termination of its use. A process model for software engineering depends on the nature and the application of software project. A process model is a blueprint of how to organize implement, conduct and manage software engineering processes in an organization with an established, validated and proven process system and good practices. Software process models are systematic methods for controlling and coordinating the development of a software product achieving all the stated objectives. This process model may be extended and adapted to create more specific software engineering processes. Now, what are the activities of generic process framework? So, there are five important activities of generic process framework. First one is communication which involves communication among the customer and other stakeholders. Then second one is planning, third one is modeling, fourth one is construction and the next one is deployment. Let's see in detail. So in first activity that is communication involves communication among the customer and other stakeholders encompasses requirements gathering. Then second one is planning. Planning means 
establishes a plan for the software engineering work, addresses technical tasks, resources, work products and work schedule. Then third one is modeling and means analyze design. So in this phase encompasses the creation of models to better understand the requirements and the design or we can say we can make sketch or architecture or design then fourth one that is the construction so under construction phase we can do some coding or we can generate code so combines code generation and testing to uncover errors then the last activity that is deployment under this evolves delivery of software to the customer for evaluation and feedback in this phase we can take customer satisfaction test also whether that a customer got whatever he had specified or not now let's have a look at the advantages of process models so the first advantage is a process model enables effective communication which enhances understanding and provides a specific basis for process execution then the second one is a process model facilitates process reuse and third one is the process model also facilitates process management thank you